Hey, it's Kim here and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is episode one, Faith. When we finished last time, Snow White was about to tell us something probably super important. She wanted to speak to us outside because the walls were paper thin, which means something's happened out there. She thinks it's something suspicious in the building. Oh my God. That was the security, no? How is his jacket outside if he's still at the desk? This is mysterious. Or is this what she wants to talk about? Let's look at it. Are we gonna say anything? <gasps> what? Oh my god! This girl. Did you know that was going to be there? She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? What's in her mouth? I knew everyone in Fake Town. She looks familiar. Just a girl. Didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. Holy crap! The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. Oh my god, we're gonna have it's to look at her. Terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. Oh my god, so you did know. I, found her. I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. Ooh, I grabbed Grimble's it? jacket to cover her with. Then I came to get you right away. Oh. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? Did she die here? In Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. No, I'm panicking. <laughs> That's Beauty and Beast. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Oh my God, am I gonna? Am I on a time limit? I'm turning my volume up desperately. Gosh. Examine the neck. Oh, to her. I don't want to see that. What could do something like that? Maybe. Something very sharp. Or something with magic attached to it. Maybe she's not dead. Maybe she said, she was like, notice my ribbon. Maybe her head falls off. What? Sometimes. That's going to be her ribbon. It's her ribbon. With her it's ring, I thought her ring kind of symbol here huh. was important. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. It's got the fleur de lis on it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. They're sending us a message. What kind of monster would do this? God. Did you notice the blood over there? I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. That's not the word I'd use. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Do I have to make that decision? Investigate more or leave? Well, we're going to investigate. We should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. Oh, and I can walk around and look at things. And talk to Snow. I realized what I was thinking about, because I kept going on about the composition of the image, I guess, of what we're seeing. And I realized the reason why it stuck with me so much is because I don't have control of the camera. I keep acting like I do, but I don't. Which means someone put thought into what we see in every frame. And I think that's really interesting. No that it's been here long. Well, let's pick it up then. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. 
tells you genes. There's some loose trash. Okay. Oh, is that blood on the... Yep, more blood. So we might have gotten caught on this climbing over the fence. Swab it. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Are we going to do anything? No, we're not going to do anything about it. We're just going to be like, yep, there was blood. What about the blood down here? Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. He's good. I think. It's gotta have something to do with the blood on the fence. Well, he's certainly putting things together. Oh my gosh, is that? Oh, it's rocks. I thought it was the body. Nobody there. So see these things, and it's like because of how they've composed it, they decide what they want you to look at. Very clever. Oh, she's wearing a denim what skirt. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. That looks different. Show we should again. move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. In the business do, office? Do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Really I know hope. anything yet. Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Uh, blood on the fence, the blood trail. Do I want to tell her much yet? Trust me. I do trust you. But we're going to need more in terms of actual proof. I left her unsure. I don't know what her role is. What if she's the killer? Us. Ichabod? As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Fair enough. I don't understand the process Crime for this. That's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. I should have asked take her name. Take this back to Dr. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office business office. It sounds so fake. It's like, I go to the work office. <laughs> I did not see that coming. At all. Who are these people? What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? Oh. I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> I realized also during the week. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Big B. Oh, Instead sorry. of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How, how does he figure that? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? 
Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard came to mind. It's his M.O. It's shaky, but... Don't be absurd. Really? Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian <laughs> right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Is she his assistant? Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. What is his problem? Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. Ah, oh, bummer. We'll get on it right away, <laughs> sir. I wouldn't have a go. He's such a dickhead. You would have just pissed him off more. You don't say. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, <laughs> maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Cool. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Light it, light it. Never mind. Yes. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. What? Ooh. Is... is he gone? <gasps> it's yes, cute! Thankfully. You've got the bottle. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Buffkin's so cute! Can we pat him? Oh, How are you today, him. Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Oh. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring <laughs> the first three. Be back in a few minutes. There must be so many. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll She's at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Maybe she's like a really zombie have to or something. Get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Maybe she's not dead. That's oh, such a baseless theory, yeah, but it's just a thought. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Should we rub it just in case? Yes, that's right. Try. <laughs> I realized during the week, this was what I was going to say before, is that Big B Wolf is Big B Wolf, as in Big Bad. He's not even trying to hide who he is. Do I need to shave? Or do we like the stubble? Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. Who killed her? You know Ooh. the rule. I don't have time for this shit. What's the rule? Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history rules. <laughs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. Oh, See, me. was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Snow. I guess... Oh. I don't know her Snow name. rhymes with that. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, wait, but I can ask about everyone Jones else. Let's see that. White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. He feels very Benedict Cumberbatch. Show me Buffkin. 
Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. Still looking. <laughs> Show me the woodsman. Is he really a suspect? Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. He looks like he was near a bar street? or something. I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Fair enough. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Hmm. Oh, now we've got books. Guess we can go back when we find out her name. Catch! Oh, poor Buffkin. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. So is this just going to have a headshot of everyone and their name? I want to see where else there is to look at. So no white stairs, she's the director of operation. Okay, so she is literally his EA. each other. No. I'll never do it. Fucking <laughs> translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. We found it already. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. I'll I'll lie lie that means every kind of fur in German. Oh, donkey she's skin. Not. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Oh, episode title. Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Uh, no. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Oh, that's cute. It's not that creepy. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. That's not a story I know at all. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Okay, let's go back to the mirror. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. I guess she really is dead. Did? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Is it so... Fast paced, it's like really moving along. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Hello again. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Tell me about Faith. Show me. Show me Faith. Through okay, powerful her. magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These She's not lips are dead? sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Also dead? Yes, 
that crosses him off the suspect list. But he can't show Faith even though she's dead. That's Prince weird. Dead. Show me Prince Lawrence. <gasps> What's he been doing? Highly suspicious. Where is this? Wearing bands. Where what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. I think we should go. It looks very suspicious. Anything we can use? Yeah. Yes. That'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. I can't remember I finished my whole thought. Ooh, phone call, but Sorry. maybe her head just to get falls that. off and that's why she has the ribbon to like hold it on, like Jack Hello, and Sally Woodland's or something. Business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Oh, hello. Bigby, it's me, Doug. What's you there? Happened? What do you want? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. What is happening? Oh, shit. Hey! Oh, What's I think we need to go there now. Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Wait. But... Whenever you're ready. I don't know. Is that a good idea? After you. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Oh, no. Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. This is very strange. I uh, guess. Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going to I feel like that's things. important because it's happening big, big, now. Big, big, big. Oh, wait, hang on. Those. Toad sounds like he I needs hope. help right now. We can check in on Prince Oh, gosh. I'm making mistakes. Okay. Oh. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. I hope this was the right choice. I was not expecting that in the first 10 seconds. I don't know what to think. Trying to put ideas together. I've met her, the woodsman has met her, Snow found her, and Mr. Toad saw her as well. So I guess we all have connections and then we've got her story. So her husband and her dad seems to actually be dead, but then she couldn't be shown because of magic, which is very strange. And I guess we've seen that fables can die, but we've also seen that they can take a lot of damage. So I don't know why this is sitting in my head that maybe because she drew attention to the ribbon, maybe it was holding her on, but then it was also like there was a lot of weird veiny stuff happening and that definitely wasn't on her neck before. So maybe I should accept that she's actually dead. It's just sort of sitting there in my mind as a thought. I'm just being skeptical. I'm also enjoying that as a player, we get to sort of lead the investigation to a degree that's really fun thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one if you'd like to hang out some more hit subscribe and i'll see you next week bye